y'all? Welcome back to another Ruckus Build video. And for today's video, I'm going to be installing my variator set for the transmission and also some extra weights. Now, this install should be fairly easy. You know what I'm saying? It should be, but I don't. All I have to do is move the transmission casing and just take it from there and uh, not ramble on so much. I understand I do ramble on a way bit too much when I'm trying to show you guys how to do something, but... Hey, bro, that's just how your boy operates sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I just be talking and 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 Now, to remove the transmission casing, it's pretty straightforward. You have one, two, three, four, five, eight millimeter bolts. And if you have an aftermarket intake like mine, then you just loosen this with a four millimeter Allen key. So now that we got the cover off to remove this pulley, it is a 17 millimeter. Take that off. Now I'm not too sure if we take this off yet, but when we get there, we'll get there. But for now, I know we gotta take this off, so this is a 17 millimeter. So this is how I found this, as you guys have probably seen in the last footage, I didn't cut it, but I probably did so I can speed up time. But whoever said that my clutch was bad, I think if this is the clutch and you were correct, I believe, because I'm pretty sure not supposed to be all like loosely goosely, what? So I just went ahead and removed everything and come to find out, this is actually a Polini as well, but now we're just going to upgrade it to a much cleaner and uh, newer one, because I don't have no idea how long that's been on, because this bike is a 2011, so awesome that the Rock Shop sent me out another one. This is where my clutch is. I didn't know, I thought, I don't know what I thought this was. Huh? Now it's time to remove the clutch. I figured that out very quickly that um, there's no way that this could have been the clutch that's the clutch so that's a 14 millimeter let's go ahead and loosen that with the best thing in the world this milwaukee so this is the clutch and um from just looking at it and observing i don't think there's nothing wrong with it so i'm just gonna put it back on but before i put it back on we gotta do the variator stuff so this is your variator and this is the back side now if you have weights like what the ruck shop sent me which are the roller weights you just place them individually in these things right here and that's it so after you have your rollers in now it's time to install the backing plate but before we install the backing plate onto the variator we have to insert these three guides one goes there one goes there and one goes there now when you install your guide you have like this groove on it and the groove basically just goes in like this and that's it so when you're installing your weights um, make sure this part right here is facing up and the fat part is against the back so like so you guys can see that like see how that this roll basically going like that I don't know that makes sense and when you go to install your backing plate all you do is just you know slide one through the edge and then just push down like that and there you go it's assembled now there's one thing I forgot to actually show you guys so when you order your very own high-speed variator set uh, what comes in the package is you actually have weights they do send you weights you get your backing plate and you get this right here I have no idea what this is called but those both come right there and what this does this goes in between that hole when you're mounting up to your actual transmission and this package right here is the guides these blue things and that's pretty much it I think it's pretty cool how they include two sets of weights so that's awesome so if you don't like this weight you go throw on these set of weights but i got some dope stuff so yee 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 so now it's time to install the variator make sure you hold it tight from the back son because you know what i'm saying you don't want no slip action if you get what i'm saying so you're gonna put this thing inside here like so make sure you hold it tight so it doesn't slip off and it's raining outside we got the transmission back on with the belt and, the and make sure your belt go around this vase i think that's what it's called I don't know, but make sure it goes around there. Now it's time to install this back on how we got it. So should be pretty much straightforward from here. First washer, second washer, then the nut. Rain, rain, go away. Let me finish my install today. Fire. Boss. So I went ahead and impacted that on a little bit, not too tight. You know what I'm saying? Just have it on, so I'm saying. Now it's time to put on the cover for this, which is like so. Wait, 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 oh, I can't see, uh, I can't see. Right. Boom. And make sure you use some red Loctite 
around here so you know you don't have no issues of where this will be coming off anytime soon and then you hit that with the impact and then you throw the cover back on and then we are done with that install but that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video please smash the like button for your boy that'd be greatly appreciated and as always huge thank you to the rug shop for supporting this build by supplying you both with the polini high speed variator set with custom weights i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you guys i hope you guys are enjoying this ruckus build i can't wait to install this exhaust so for the next ruckus build video you guys will have the yoshimura exhaust install and ready to go then we can ride through our speed test and show you guys how we went from 37 miles per hour to oh, i want to say 57 so bad hopefully we touch 50 if we touch 50 That'd be dope. And if you guys like to pick up your own, you know what I'm saying? High speed barrier to set with custom weights. I'll leave a link down below to the part and to the ruck shop in case you want to browse their website and see if you need to pick up something that you don't already have. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Oh, goddamn.